Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Dr. Peter Glidden, your steadfast advocate for health. Let's go right to the phones and talk to James in California. Hey, James, thanks for the phone call. You are live. Yeah, good morning, Dr. Glidden. Good morning, James. Yes, I had a question this morning in regards to uh, uh, getting high blood pressure under control and also ED. Yeah. So is this you or someone you know? Uh, this is a, a friend of mine, and I'm just looking to see what uh, I can help them with, with a supplement. Okay, so a lot of things to understand about high blood pressure. The first thing is that we ne we have to all agree as to which numbers are the correct numbers. And the medical doctors move this goalpost all of the time in order to sell more blood pressure meds, right? So when I was in school, and the correct way to think about this is you are hypertensive and in need of some type of immediate uh, assistance. If you have three back-to-back -back readings, like, you know, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, or 8 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, three consecutive readings, back-to-back -back readings, where both numbers are elevated above 140 over 90. Both numbers are elevated above 140 over 90. Uh, medical doctors all of the time will prescribe blood pressure medication when just one of the numbers is elevated in just one visit to the doctor's office, and there's something called white coat syndrome where people are nervous when they're at the doctor's office, and so their blood pressure goes up. And so they don't really have high blood pressure, but the doctor gives them a, it writes it on the chart that they have high blood pressure, and now they have high blood pressure. So three consecutive readings where both numbers are elevated above 140 over 90 means you need immediate assistance, you know, pharmaceutical assistance or something. You need to do something in order to deal with it. Now, if just one of the numbers is elevated or both numbers are elevated just one time out of three, then you are borderline hypertensive. And in borderline hypertension, we can intervene with medical nutrition. And even if you are hypertensive and you are on meds or you need meds, then when you're taking the medication to lower the blood pressure, you can, you must do medical nutrition at the same time in order to try to get to the root cause of what caused the high blood pressure in the first place. Remember, the medical doctors don't know what causes high blood pressure. Imagine that. And so their treatments are designed 100% to symptomatically manage the problem. It's the management. It's not a healing. It's not curing. It's management. So there are two things to consider when somebody is either borderline hypertensive or de facto hypertensive. The first thing to consider is that they don't have enough calcium. They don't have enough magnesium. In order for the, there are little muscles in the arteries of your body, and in order for the muscle to, and those muscles constrict and relax in order to help the heart pump blood. They need to have sufficient amounts of minerals in order to constrict and relax, especially calcium and magnesium. So if you're deficient in minerals, what will happen is the muscles will constrict, but they won't relax. And when that happens, you have high blood pressure. The vast majority of the time in my clinical experience, this is a simple calcium and or magnesium deficiency, and it goes away, high blood pressure goes away within eight weeks, depending on your body weight, with uh, medical nutrition sufficient to the cause. So the first thing to do here is uh, the Healthy Body Start Pack 2.0 liquid. One of those, it's a Healthy Body Start Pack 2.0 liquid, one of those. Uh, per 100 pounds of body weight per month. One bottle of plant-derived minerals per 100 pounds of body weight per month. And then two extra bottles, two extra bottles for two months of Beyond Osteo FX, which is a liquid calcium, magnesium, multiple mineral supplement. Now, one bottle of the calcium Beyond Osteo FX is in the Healthy Body Start Pack. But because we're attempting here to intervene with, you know, an illness, then the recommendation would be to give extra calcium, extra magnesium, extra minerals. And we do that with two extra bottles of Beyond Osteo FX a month. That's what I would do for the first eight weeks. If that does not produce results, if that therapy does not normalize blood pressure inside of eight weeks, then we have to consider this is a kidney issue, not a artery issue, but a kidney issue. 
these are the two main operative causes of high blood pressure. Not a, you know, a problem with the muscles in the arteries. They have constricted, but they can't relax. And or peripheral arterial disease in the kidneys, which has been undiagnosed. This is the buildup of plaque and crap in the eeny weeny taint of blood vessels inside the kidney. We're up against a hard break, James. When we come back, I'll tell you what to do for that. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. Peter Glidden, your steadfast advocate for health. Thanks. Back to James in Canada, uh, California, rather. James, you still with me? I am. All right, James. So if it's if you do the calcium and magnesium um, therapy in addition to the 90 essential nutrients and the blood pressure doesn't yield, then we must consider it's um, a kidney issue. And if it is a kidney issue, then what we do there is uh, to the program that so we, you would back off um, with the extra calcium. Stop taking the extra calcium. You would add to the program one bottle of selenium per 100 pounds of body weight per month. One bottle of selenium per 100 pounds of body weight per month. And four bottles of good herbs heart support. Four bottles of good herbs heart support uh, per month. And one bottle of niacin. Uh, Longevity has a brand new niacin product per 100 pounds of body weight per month. So that's one bottle of selenium, one bottle of niacin per 100 pounds of body weight per month, and the good herbs, healthy heart. We do the healthy heart because there are herbs in there that help to uncongest blood vessels that have become laden with crap. Now, why do blood vessels become laden with crap? Because people are eating all the wrong food all the time. So the foundation background of all of this is that you, me, the person with high blood pressure, the person with erectile dysfunction, the person with everything, and the man in the moon has to stop eating 12 foods, and you can get that list for free on my website. So eliminate those foods, get on board with those products, and give it 90 days each, or well, it should be eight weeks each, and see what happens.